Hey guys, this is, oh, is it episode or week? I forgot. Episode, episode. Okay. Hey guys, this is episode three of Why This. This week we are going into the intermediate path and diving specifically into the got none progressions for bar muscle ups. So in the intermediate, we always have got none and got some, which mean exactly what they sound like they mean. Got none means you do not have the skill and you're working on developing it. Got some means you have some reps of the skill and you're working on improving your capacity in them. So what we do with our bar muscle up skill steps is we're working on understanding the movement and how to build and put the movement together before we even go into the turnovers. So this is the swing portion or the kit portion of the bar muscle up. My goal is for athletes who are doing this to have full control and body awareness and understanding of what they're should be doing in the kit portion of the bar muscle up before we even start turning over. So there's four steps that I'm going to go through. It's important to know that each step builds upon the next one. So you do step one, and then once we go to step two, it's step one plus step two. When we go to step three, it's step one, step two, step three. Um, this is important because you're building the awareness and control of why we're doing these skills and where they actually fit into the actual uh, muscle up. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to dive in and actually show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. Step one is a jump to pike. So what we're doing here is we are setting up with our biceps by our ears. And let me back up just a little. Biceps by your ears and you are jumping into the bar from behind the bar. A lot of people make the mistake of setting up right underneath the bar, which is my body would be here instead of back here um, and jumping straight up. That's not the uh, position that you want to get into in order to create a swing. You'll hear a lot of people say that the first rep is the hardest because they're not jumping into the first rep properly. So I'm um, behind the bar. Um, you'll see my feet are about a foot and a half, two feet behind the bar. Hands are up bicep. You can't see my ears because my biceps are um, up by it. And I'm going to jump into this pike position. So jumping up and my feet come in front of me and I'm swinging in front of the bar. So I'm gonna do this a few times. Hands come up, biceps by my ears, jumping into the bar, feet come forward and I'm letting my momentum swing forward of the bar. I'm gonna pause this next one to show you guys um, what I mean by that. So here, notice the you have the bar here and if you follow the mouse, I'm coming straight down and the rig would cut behind my body line. So my whole body is in front of the bar and I'm holding that pike position. That uh, builds into the next step, which is the tight and patient arch. So step one, jump to pike. We did that. So I'm going to come down and now we're going to start step two. So I'm again, remember every step builds upon the next one. So I'm starting off with that jump to pike. Oh, got a little ahead of myself there. Jump to pike, swinging forward, and then I'm going to, after my body clears that middle line, the plane of the bar, I'm going to snap into a tight and patient arch. So tight means my knees are locked out or as close to it as, as you can get. Everything is nice and tight and connected through my body line. I'm squeezing my butt. Patient refers to that pike position that I let myself swing forward forward of the bar before um, opening up into that position. So tight and patient arch, and then I'm going to come down. I'm going to do this two more times. So again, hands up, jump into pike in front of the bar, snap into that arch. One more time. Pike position, tight and patient arch. All right, so that's step two. Now, step three is a toe rise. Remember that we're going step one, jump to pike, adding step two, tight and patient arch. So now after the tight and patient arch, I'm adding the toe rise. And for the toe rise, I want you to spot them in front of you. Your goal is to get your feet to about your shoulder height. Um, and I recommend setting up in a way where you have something in front of you that you are getting your feet above. So you, I'm not, you can't really see that 
in the video because I'm looking ahead and you can't see what I'm looking at. But if you were to spin around and see one of these like white lines on the wall, that would be a way you could do it. You could jump into the wall and you're getting your feet above those white lines. So into pike, snap, and then my feet come up into about my shoulder height. You don't want to go higher than your shoulders, but about shoulder height. Now this is going to look kind of like an exaggerated toes to bar kip, which is what we want. Um, a mistake a lot of people make when they're learning bar muscle ups is they treat it like an exaggerated chest to bar. But what we're doing here is we're creating that pseudo toes to bar kip, except for my body is further behind the bar. So this is the toe rise. If there were something here um, that you could see, I'd be getting my toes above it. So I'm gonna pop down and do this one more time or two more times. So again, hands up, jumping into a pike position. Tight and patient arch, toes come up, spot them into that um, like three quarters toes to bar position. And we're gonna do that one more time. As you're doing this, you can start working on pressing down on the bar as you're bringing your, your feet up, not bending your arms at all, but just trying to push yourself a little bit further behind the bar. All right, so that's three steps. We have one left. So now again, we're building upon it. This step is a hip drive plus a straight arm press down on the bar. Your arms should not bend at all. What we're working on here is getting your hips as close to the bar as you can and your shoulders as high as you can. But remember, we have to hit the other steps first. So jumping into pike, tight and patient arch, toe rise, missed it again. Oh gosh. All right, we're just gonna start this over toe rise, and then snap up. So here, my hips are open. I'm trying to drive them up towards the bar as much as I can. I'm pressing down on the bar. My arms are pretty straight. I have a little bit of a bend, which could be better, but the focus is I'm trying to press, my, press down on the bar to make my shoulders rise versus pulling on the bar to get my shoulders up. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do this two more times. Again, you should not be bending your arms at all. What we're working on here is using your hips and your lats with that straight arm press down to get as high as possible. So jump into pike, tight and patient arch, toes up, pop. Um, a cue you can use for yourself is look forward at the top. And if your eyes can see over the bar, then you're probably high enough to turn over. Don't turn over yet. Make sure that you are getting this position down as well as you can so that you are um, nailing these steps and setting yourself up to be able to turn over into good reps. Now, why these steps are so important. A lot of athletes, as they're developing the skill, they will kind of just like figure it out and turn over a little bit too quickly. And what that means is that they're not creating the right positions in the swing portion to be able to continue to progress into bigger sets of bar muscle-ups and making your bar muscle-ups efficient. So I really harp on getting these steps down so that when you do get your first rep, you know how you got your first rep. You know that it's because you jumped to pike, hit the arch position, got your toes up, pressed down, kept your arms straight, drove up, and then it's a lot easier to get two reps, three reps, and just continue to build from there. So we're trying to build as much body awareness as we can through these steps before even going into the turnover. So we're not even touching that in the skill work today. Um, what I always recommend for athletes is as you're going through these steps, film yourself, go back, watch before you do your next rep and make your corrections on the spot. That sort of intentional training goes a long way with skill work. So that's it for uh, today's session. I hope that this was helpful and um, just work on those steps and with time, trust that the bar muscle up will come.